We're learning new details about the arrest of a local man on shocking charges. Frank Palin is accused of indecent assault on a patient at an assisted living facility in Canton, Massachusetts. Palin is a nurse practitioner at the facility, and tonight we're learning more about the accusations against him and how the alleged crime was discovered. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian is live in our control room now with the new details. Kim? Well, Lake and Shannon, you might recognize Frank Palin's name because he's the chairman of the Coventry Fire District, and the crime that he's now accused of came to light after the children of the alleged victim put a hidden camera inside their mother's room. 67-year-old Frank Palin charged with indecent assault and battery on a person over 65. Police say the nurse practitioner was caught on camera inappropriately touching a dementia patient at the cornerstone at Canton facility in Massachusetts earlier this month. According to a police report, the patient's children installed a camera in their mother's room that captured a man entering through the locked door. The white male that enters the room appears to be older, has gray hair and a gray beard, the report says. Police say the man is seen on the video listening to the patient's heart with a stethoscope before he appears to begin rubbing her breast. The individual notices the woman shifting her arm and kicking her feet under the sheets, but police say the man continues before eventually leaving the room. Police later identified that man as Frank Palin, a part-time worker for Old Colony Hospice. In a police interview, he told investigators he was conducting an exam of a benign lump he discovered. Palin is the chairman of the beleaguered Coventry Fire District, and minutes show he attended their most recent meeting last month. He was arraigned Monday and pleaded not guilty to the charge. He was released on $5,000 cash bail. And police say the alleged victim's room is supposed to be locked. Coming up new at 6, we'll tell you how police believe that Palin gained entry. Live in the control room, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Steph. Now at 6, we're learning how police say a Coventry man accused of molesting a patient at a Massachusetts nursing home was able to get access to her room. And we first broke this story on Eyewitness News at noon. Coventry Fire District Board Chair Frank Palin is now charged with indecent assault. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian is live on our studio with the new details. Kim? Well, Mike and Shannon, according to police, the alleged victim has a limited vocabulary, but her children told authorities the video in which Palin was allegedly assaulting her clears that sh clearly shows that she was in distress. 67-year-old Frank Palin charged with inappropriately touching an elderly dementia patient. Palin is the chairman of the beleaguered Coventry Fire District, and minutes show he attended their most recent meeting last month. He's also a part-time nurse practitioner for Old Colony Hospice, and police say he assaulted a female patient at the Cornerstone at Canton facility in Massachusetts earlier this month. According to a police report, Palin did not sign a visitor's log and asked an employee of the nursing home to let him into the woman's locked room. Once inside, the report says he first listens to the patient's heart with a stethoscope before he appears to begin rubbing her breast. The individual notices the woman shifting her arm and kicking her feet under the sheets, but police say Palin continues before eventually leaving the room. The incident was captured on a camera installed in the room by the alleged victim's children. Now Palin faces a charge of indecent assault and battery on a person over 65. In a police interview, he told investigators he was conducting an exam of a benign lump he discovered. And Palin was arraigned on Monday and pleaded not guilty to the charge. He was released on $5,000 cash bail and ordered to have no contact with the elderly. Live in studio, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Kim.